as so many of us wait for spring to truly arrive. The end of the school year is fast approaching. It's already job hunting time for university students. The average graduate racks up a debt of over $25,000. Finding that dream job, though, isn't easy. With a growing number of Canadians choosing post-secondary, the type of degree you get can make all the difference, as Shirley Engel reports. With two university degrees, Eric Scoff never thought he'd still be surfing job boards two years after graduation. He's got a government gig lined up, but it's only for three months. It's a, a good foot in the door, and I've been trying. I applied for this position amongst over 100 since last August. He's been a barista, a supply teacher, head of an after-school program, all jobs he's overqualified for. And he's not alone. While enrollment and fees for university have skyrocketed since a generation ago, a new StatsCan report shows that hasn't led to better employment prospects. I kind of wish that I would have been shown those options, you know, been saying, like, college is just as good as university. Between 1991 and 2011, the number of young workers with a university degree jumped to 40% of women and 27% of men. But just like 20 years ago, a third of grads in humanities programs end up in positions they're overqualified for. Aisha Warsam is a month away from graduation. Her only prospect, the retail job she's had for five years. It's sort of disheartening when I see how many of my managers do have degrees in international development in things that they had a passion for. The government has been warning of a labor shortage in skilled trades for years. So why do students keep flocking to universities when colleges and apprenticeship programs offer the promise of more immediate and sometimes more lucrative employment? For too long, our university system has characteristically undermined our college and uh, our college education system, which provides critical job training skills for jobs that are in demand right now. Still, proponents of university say it was never meant to be job training. We're preparing students for the, um, the, the craziness of life and not for the certainties of a particular career with a certain set of skills. This campus career expert says students need to be more proactive from day one. If anyone thinks that it's too soon, to begin their career planning when they're in their first year of university. Think again. Eric Scoff is optimistic his contract will lead to full-time work, but... Our generation is really going to have to make some big changes. And that's something he never learned in school. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.